Hey folks, welcome to a new video from the Radio Bros podcast. In this video, I'm following up on a recent podcast episode where we ranted on about e-waste or electronic waste. Now, this particular video is to pick one thread of discussion. And that particular discussion was when we mentioned Fairphone. It's a company that aims to create a sustainable and long lasting device. That's what they claim. As we went onto the website during the podcast episode, the Fairphone 4 is on a pre order. Now, that is awesome. As I said to Dan, and as I promised, I'm going to get hold of this Fairphone 4 and I'm going to try to use it as my daily driver in fact it may just become my daily driver i'm going to see if i can remove myself from the shackles of branded mobile phones smartphones just because of the name or just because of what's on the spec sheet with all these uh, high class camera quality and so on when i don't use it that often i just need a phone that i know i can rely on and it just works well will this be that phone so I am actually going to buy this phone, the grey. I'm going to get the 256 gig storage with 8 GB RAM. I mean, if I'm going to splash out on a new phone, why not? £569. That's actually not too bad. Mid-range price for a phone like this. I quite like it. And interestingly enough, they don't give you the charger or the cable because Again, you may already have the cable and is USB-C. Hopefully by now is a common cable to use. Now I'm gonna get this without the cable because I don't wanna splash out on an expensive cable. I think I do have some in my drawer over here. So I am actually going to purchase this phone and I will see you once the phone is available and is delivered. Dan, guess what? What? Brown box it, alert. Well, that's a nice clean way of opening up this thing. This. I'll tear into it, mate. Tear into it like a mad maniac! Pretty much. Yep. Uh, I got no knife, no scissors. So I'm going to try and rip Ooh. it open. There Adios, we go. Mr. Fingers. Yeah. Adios, Mr. Fingers. Yeah. Goodbye, fingers. Well, I haven't got my address on it, so let's quickly remove that. <laughs> it's a dispatch yes. note. No sensitive information in this podcast or video cast, as we should say. <laughs> <laughs> da, da, da. It's a fair phone. It's a fair phone. Let's move this. So this kind of this kind of continues our conversation, shall we say, on on right to repair. So this is a modular phone, is it not? Yep, it's a modular phone. Now, by the time this video got out, a lot mm. of other podcasters would have reviewed it and played around with it. Mm. But this this is the UK, and, and, we, and we do things different here. Yes, we are. We're just going to mess around. Okay, so what is this? Um... Oh, 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 check this out. Go on. Printed with soy ink. Oh, wow. They really have gone to town on this whole sort of, you know, environmental sort of impact sort of thing that's really yeah. cool fully recyclable obviously oh, wow so this got dispatched from the netherlands came to uh -huh. a place where i had to go and collect it uh-huh what's happening with the blur blur i'm blur oh change is in your hands <laughs> it is indeed <laughs> well i suppose i suppose it is really isn't it i mean Indeed. Should we open it? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, I think we need some theme music here, like, like I don't know. Tra la la, Captain on the Pants. <laughs> no, not that. Right, no. it says here, built to last. The most sustainable phone is the one that lasts. The longer you keep it, the lower your environmental footprint. Wow. Modular design, extended warranty. Hmm. So this, this box obviously is made from recyclable materials as well. Oh, it's got to be. Oh, wow. There you go. It has to be. Wow, that's a really nice colour, actually. Uh, for people and planet. 
But one thing about this extended warranty, when I was reading up on it and I was looking at some mm. forums, people mm. have kind of complained what they mean by extended warranty with a five year mm. warranty. Mm. It's five years from the time it was released. So if someone wants to buy oh. the Fear Phone next year, they're only going to get four years. Oh, wow. Down. Okay, that's interesting. It's a little bit cheeky what they're saying. Mm, I can see what they're saying. when you it. buy it, isn't it? I mean, it's, yeah. it's from point of sale, isn't it? It should be. I guess it's just the supportability until the next version mm, comes out. Sure. I mean, you know, technology yeah. moves too flipping rapid to, yeah. to sustain yeah, it in for any sort of longer. Okay, so what we got here? We have the e Mobile. Let's not open that one up yet. No, we, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna look at the accessories first. Okay, the documentation will go straight right. in the bin because we don't read documentation. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and, and the health and safety guide. That's gone us too. Bye bye. <laughs> yep, there we go. Oh, uh, send us your phone. Really? So the idea about this thing is if you have an old spare phone or your old phone, you're never going to use it, you don't have anyone to give it to, you mm. send it back to them in this box. Uh -huh. And they will recycle it. Wow. Um, do, we, do, we, do, we, yeah. do we know how? Is it going to be sort of broken they down do. into component parts? Or, or is that not sort of specified? They haven't. They got it on their website. I have to admit, I don't remember. I think I read an article not so long ago about phones being recycled in, shall we say, third world countries. So whatever mm. you send goes goes to places that may, may not be as... Um, economically viable to to keep up with the latest technology so yeah it says quite here we've got ambition pla ambitious plans for reducing electronic waste go to fairphone.com forward slash recycle to find out how you can give your old phone a new life so maybe Fair they'll enough. just take out what parts they that. can and reuse it so which is yeah, quite cool. why not why not yeah yeah, yeah. Cool. cool so let's crack on the phone no no charger no cable because they want you to well they assume that you have one it's a USB-C right well, uh, yes, it's a USB-C cable. Uh, there's that whole assumption with... Uh, there's a big debate about this. Let's hope mm. we don't get into it here, but we can talk about it more Ooh. after. Sure. But the debate mm -hmm. is whether the phones should come with a charger now. Mm -hmm. So this doesn't come with a charger. It doesn't come with a cable. If you want to get a cable, you can get this really nice braided cable from their website. I'm a awesome. fan of a certain brand that makes these cables for USB Type-C. I won't uh -huh. name them. Just so because people don't think paid. it's an endorsement. <laughs> <laughs> we want yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> right. If you know who you are, please send us some money. <laughs> Got my young man here. My son, he's helping film this. Yep, yep. My, <laughs> well, he doesn't like being called Minion. So. Oh, I do apologize. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. Right, so he's uh, he's soldiering on to try to record this for me. And Fair this enough. is also made from recycled me materials here, this thing to... Wow, yeah. that's pretty impressive. They have they have gone to the nth degree in this, haven't they? Really? Yeah. Anyway, you ready for the review? peel it off, peel it off, peel it off, peel it off. Come on, that's uh, a very reflective screen, actually. It is extremely. It's yeah. almost like silver. Yeah. Right, spin it over, spin it over, spin it over. Yeah. What the we got? The edge is quite. Oh. Yeah. What does that remind you metal? of? Metal. That looks like metal. Yeah. Yeah, it reminds me of like the uh, iPhone iPhone 6, yeah. iPhone four esque mm. type of uh, frame. It's quite bevel. Um, it's it's, oh, it's kind of round. Is it rounded or it looks rounded? Yeah. It's a little bit rounded. If I yeah. down that way, yeah, you can see the roundness in it. That's wow. interesting. So that's what's what's that on the side? What? Okay, so you got Ooh. USB C down there. USB C okay. the, uh, speakers. Yep. That's probably the microphone. Yep. Um. Ooh, that looks like a sensor of some sort. Mhm. Mm and this down here. I SD think this card, is just to be able to open it up. Oh, okay. Oh, right. This is how yeah. you get into the, 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 the innards. Yeah, we won't do that today. Right. This yep. looks like um, fingerprint and power, and there's the volume rocker. So, mm -hmm. Ooh. oh, yeah. Doesn't need a charge. It's Zzz. pretty long. They usually come with about 60%, 70%. Huh? So what's this running? Android, I assume? Yep, this is an Android device. My mm -hmm. dear iPhone user. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, we could say and compete, but uh, there's that you know, constant competition, which is better. I don't think that applies anymore. Phones are so good to the point that... Absolutely. 
it's your choice. So have a has an interesting mm. notch, dare I say. It's um kind You of, have an opinion about the notch, don't you? I do. I'm 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 not not friendly. <laughs> I, You're I, I not live friendly. With I, <laughs> I'm not 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 friendly. Yeah. Right. Okay. So. Uh, it's interesting. Yeah. Location. Let's have a location. Um, Suggested United States. No, thank you very much. That's um, interesting. So a phone that's shipped from the EU has a US setting. Hmm. Is it either. made by Yanks? No. It's not. It is mm. the... Then uh, stop bloody putting things in Yankee <laughs> land. <laughs> no cost. Uh, if you have a SIM card... I just alienated SIM about four and a half billion people. <laughs> well, we have our opinion about that as well with some of the software that we support. <laughs> right, so Indeed. I'm going to skip this SIM card thing. Connect to Wi-Fi. Right, so we've got it hooked up to the Wi-Fi. I've got my SIM card in this. Phone. Mm -hmm. Surface. Oh, your Microsoft Duo. Flip, yeah. Hmm. Microsoft, uh, Surface Duo. Oh, Microsoft Flip. <laughs> Duo. <laughs> <laughs> so, what I'm going to do, let's switch this off again. And you're going to insert the SIM card. Yeah, I am going to move my daily driver to a new one. Now, I'm too far from my Wi Fi point, so. What I'm going to do is try take apart the phone. I'm not going to do it as they did it in the in the manual. It says, you know, just, you know, pull it and do like that. But there's a lot of clips there and I don't want to rip out the clip. Wow. Look at that. It's worth, very organized. Right. right. I Let's believe that's the same with, oh, I love that battery thing. Oh, yeah, I, love I miss that so much. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so let's slide. It's not, it's not, it's not. Nice thing in there. Completely, but I wouldn't want to, you, you kind of wouldn't want to put it down the toilet. <laughs> so. No. So let's put this battery back in. Right. Okay. <laughs> Continuing. There we go. Yeah. So. I'm going to close this. I'm not going to do any opening. There's many videos out there. I fix it. Mm. I've done their teardowns and all the other uh, mm -hmm. YouTubers have done their review, getting a screwdriver and doing everything. I'm not going to uh -huh. challenge that yet. Is nope. This is a mid-ranger. I should point that out. It's not a very... Uh, it's not a very... What, what we call a high-range um, phone like the S20, S21 or whatever, or iPhone oh, 13s. This is like a mid-ranger, so probably equivalent to Samsung Galaxy A70, maybe, or the A54, A52, no. sorry, or something like that. Um, so, yeah, let's get this on again. So, we have inserted said SIM. So, I have inserted a SIM, I'm rebooting so kind of, it. kind of branded it a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Um, use mobile network for setup. Let's do that. Oh, that's going to be quite cool. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Copy apps. You could choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, and more. Ooh, that's should interesting. I, should I do a fresh new setup or should I do a transfer? What do you feel like? I mean, are you gonna are you gonna use this on your sort of daily endeavors, or is this gonna be a? I think this will be my new daily driver. For a while. Fair enough. Then you want to transfer your apps, then? Sure. Yeah, let's transfer. I've got the, I've got my caravan here, whispering in my ears. Transfer, transfer, mm -hmm. transfer. <laughs> a backup from cloud or Android. Oh, look at that! You can back up from iPhone. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh! Big wow. From iPhone device, amazing. Backup from an Android phone. Use your old phone to copy data wirelessly. Um, well, since Wi-Fi is not very good in this room right now. Uh, I'll just do it from the cloud. <laughs> right. As it comes to the next screen, I will cut the video. Oh, wow. Choose your search provider. Let go. Choose next. Then I'll have to set a screen lock. Yoink. Unlock mm. with fingerprint. Use your fingerprint to unlock your phone or approve purchases. Click file. Okay, you can file one. Touch the sensor. Which one? 
No, the fingerprint sensor on the side, I would assume. Yeah, it's on the power button as well. Mm. I have to say, it does feel quite nice. You know, there's still a plastically, plasticky kind of element to the build of the device. Hmm. Um, it doesn't feel very premium, but I do like the curve on the side. You know, you get a good grip with it. But yeah, okay, anyways. Mm. Um, scroll up okay so there's the app draw i think it's because you know it's going against the lighting in the room i don't have very good mm. lighting but that's called the app draw when i scroll up and down to get into it and that's the home screen um and we can install apps that gives us different launcher type experience still it's still doing the setup but let's tap into this i'm gonna do that go into the wallpapers let's see what wallpaper <laughs> Some quite nice right. So, so I just chose set the wallpaper. There we go. Full screen. That looks nice, nicer. Look at all the Google apps are in one folder here. Got the Play Store, phone, um, messages, contacts, and mm -hmm. camera. And down here is my search bar. I guess if I chose Google, it would have done the usual. Google search. So if I get the oh, gosh, yeah. older device that I got here, um, you know, it's these kind of these bars. Now this is using the Nova launcher on this uh, S20. This is going to go through appears, which is why I do need another device. It's good to have a spare device. So. Sure, but sure. That is not a very bad looking device, is it? I mean, it's, it's quite nice. Cool, actually. Oh, I didn't clip that in. <laughs> there we go. Much better. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Yeah. yeah, it's not too bad. You can see the curve on it. I do quite like it. It's got a bit of heft to it. Mm, um, it's not like a, a completely plasticky pile of junk, no? No, it's not a pile of junk. <laughs> and that's the idea, isn't it? We're stopping junk from happening. We, we saw how organized it was when I wanted to put the SIM card in. One of mm. the interesting parts I did notice when I was putting the SIM card in was mm. the uh, ability to insert uh, a micro SD into the phone as well so you could expand on the storage right. okay so if anything breaks for example let's um let's check out some accessories and, and replacements no yes okay so just gone to the fairphone website i'm gonna go to products we can see fairphone 4 if we want to buy another <laughs> if i could convert you uh... to android that'd be quite cool <laughs> <laughs> yeah good luck with that <laughs> You've got your toys, I've got mine. I right, have there you indeed. go. This is quite cool. So you can filter by the different devices. Now, Fairphone 3 and 2 are still supported. If you imagine mm -hmm. how uh, how old Fairphone 2 and 3 would be in the world of tech, this already an old thing. They still sure. got a spare password. That's quite cool. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that means that you have, you know, sustainability, no? Exactly. And that's brilliant. And here we go. If your camera breaks, you can buy a new selfie camera and replace it yourself. The loudspeakers, mm -hmm. uh, the earpiece, oh wow, and the rear cameras. And as I mentioned before, you could buy the new USB C port if one mm. goes bad. Oh, this is very cool. This is very cool. The Fairphone 4 display. Mm. Oh, the wow. touchscreen display. Jeez, really? Um, there's a particular company that you're a fan of that I'm not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's yeah. created a few issues with. <laughs> Spear parts. <laughs> yes, let's um yeah, let's leave that on the side. <laughs> <laughs> uh spare battery and uh, the back cover. Now I'm not gonna go crazy over the battery. Some people of our some people, as in the YouTubers, the tech ones, are mm. a bit like, oh wow, yeah, you can get a new battery. But I could think back to the days of like the Samsung Galaxy S5 and sure. the three and four, even where you could just take off the back. And replace yeah, the absolutely battery. rip it rip oh, out the battery and, and put a new one in yeah exactly and but then there's cool. that whole sort of yeah i mean don't get me wrong it was just the best but then i guess you know things got dropped in various toilets around the world <laughs> and, um, <laughs> as 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 you do and um so so they made things waterproof so you can't you can't have both, unfortunately. Yeah, the, the, the stronger the resistance, then the harder it will be um, 
to open up. I guess up with all those. So- I don't know. Maybe there could be a way to improve on the resistance with being able to replace batteries. You know, if they. If sure. I mean, you can have a seal on it, and you know, and all that sort of stuff, right? So, I mean, there are there are ways. Don't get me wrong, but it's. Yeah. I guess. You know what? What these manufacturers tend to do is that you know if it costs them money, then they're gonna they're gonna pass on that cost to their um their their faithful customers. Yeah, they that. would, they would, they would. I've just clicked through into this back cover thing, and I think this is quite nice. The important thing is this NFC, uh, which we can use for sure. payments. You know, the Google. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. What's it called? Google Pay. I was about to say Google Wallet. Yes. I'm thinking of Apple Wallet, <laughs> Google Pay. Apple Wallet. There you go. You have been converted. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> but um, but yes, you can see the uh, the whole. The, the inner workings are still there when you want to buy a new one. I, I think this is quite cool. And if you feel like it, you could change the colour of the back cover. Oh, wow. But I, I, I do like dark colours myself, so I went for the grey. Mm. And speckled well, green. They, they don't tend oh, to get God. scratched so much, you know. Well, they do get scratched. Well, I guess that's so why it's good that it's plastic, because when you scratch glass... Mm. I don't know. I don't oh, know. gosh, if you crack... Yeah, if you crack the screen on it. Yeah. What do you think of this colour? though. <laughs> it's very kind, kind, of, kind, 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 kind of mixed yeah i think you know it, it's definitely it's definitely out there uh, mm. I, I, I tip my hat in that but no not not for me <laughs> not for <laughs> me. i'm just reading this here something just popped out to me so kudos to our mechanical engineering team who managed to pull off something truly special the fairphone 4 back cover is made from 100 percent recycled plastics oh wow yeah We've designed it with durability in mind as it protects your Fairphone 4's inner working and hosts the NFC antenna for all your convenient one-tap data transfers or payments. Interesting. Fair enough. That is quite cool. Two-year warranties. Nice longer warranties. Wow. I think that's quite cool. So back here, so these are all the Fairphone 4. I did put a filter to see all the Fairphone 4 related parts but that's a lot you know being able to change the camera uh the speaker that's quite an interesting one yeah Touchy that is thoughts you know you know when you get those drunkards <laughs> or when you're sleeping <laughs> at bedtime the lights off and you're trying to find a port and you're trying to poke in the cable <laughs> <laughs> that's the first thing i'll probably go on the phone to be honest <laughs> well yeah true and uh, it's good to i see guess it depends on how heavy-handed you are with it i mean yeah you know. i mean I, i'm i'm does, does it have wireless charging or, or not? No, it doesn't I'm look guessing like it. not, no. yeah. No. No. I do like the wireless charging, which is one of the I, reasons I why... I love it, yeah. Uh, this yes. is why I stuck with Samsung for a long time, because they huh. were one of the early... Um, I, would, I don't know if pioneers are the right word, but the... Adopters, yeah. The early adopters, uh, thank you very much. The early adopters mm-hmm. into using the uh, wireless Qi standard. Uh, and that's what kept me going. Because of the whole point with... Getting a new USB C port. I like mm. the wireless charging. Now it's not oh, necessarily as fast it, yeah. as you like it to be. Unfortunately, no. this is one of the things I don't like what Apple has done, because they've kind of standardized it their their own way. So it's not truly a Qi charger. You can get a Qi charger from Apple, but it may not charge mm. your phone quick enough. No. No. That is true. That is true. Yeah. Yeah. But this is cool. Let's see what else we've got. Okay, let's check out the accessories. Oh hello. A USB C to mini audio jack adapter. Oh, I see. So, okay. So, this doesn't have a headphone slot like other. You could get USB C headphones if you like. Or wireless. Or wireless. <laughs> uh, yeah. Bluetooth, shall we say? Yes. Bluetooth. <laughs> uh, wireless. These earbuds are everywhere now, aren't they? Everyone's doing Oh, gosh. Yeah, earbuds. everyone's doing their own sort of uh, bud distribution. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Quite. I'm just looking at the charger. I don't know if that's a good or bad price to have a charger. But I think what makes it worth it mm. is dual port. The different. Uh, oh, I see. Fair um, enough. USB C, so, USB A, right? Yeah. Mm, it's, nice. If that could charge a whole range of devices, now this is something that you can get and use. I did have a multi port charger in the past. It lasted mm. for about a year and a half before it decided to start making a lot of noise and <laughs> putting me off. Uh, I think maybe it just might have been a faulty one, faulty batch mm. from what they were making. But it's quite cool. And of course, uh, it was out of warranty, wasn't it? Yes. 
Yep, it was out of warranty. Oh, what am I doing? Clicking. Let's go back. Uh, there's the cable. Hmm. 18 bucks for a cable. I said bucks, didn't I? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. It's affecting me. Um, it is. But yes, no, you think it's an expensive cable, but this one is uh, braided. Hmm. I so, get yeah. it. I don't, you know, it, it will last longer. Oh, look at that. 100% recycled polyester. Ooh, isn't that cool? Uh, the USB-A adapter. Oh, look at that. You can plug it into your laptop Aww. if you've got a normal USB port. <laughs> Isn't that nice? <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. I think yeah, that's quite cool. We've seen quite a lot here, haven't we? We have been through the houses. We have been through the houses indeed. So let's see if I can do this. Uh, radio. I'm going to see if I... From the phone... Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll join the meeting. Uh, yeah. Join our little recording. Shindig. Our little shindig, indeed. Let's have shiggles in our shindig. Unsupported browser. Uh, oh, mobile devices aren't supported yet. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. So I know what my challenge is going to be which is to set up the phone, get it ready as my daily driver. I'm going to you know, install my uh, web browser of choice. And I do like the Samsung internet browser. Don't know why. do like it. Mm. But I'll get Firefox onto it as well. I'll set up all the other bits. But to be honest, it is quite cool. Um, we shall see it face to face one day when we uh, meet up and do another podcast recording but this is absolutely you know we didn't even think of an intro for this thing did we no hmm. just the box welcome to exactly. podcast extra <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was quite cool to throw the box into it but yeah uh, <laughs> um, need to think of a way to sign on and sign off audio wise actually no we don't need to we don't need to do it sign in i think that's just sign up throw in a box um i think i'll create a little playlist on our youtube channel called podcast extra definitely yeah so um what should i use as an end screen to uh, for this. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay i just go back to the main screen there we go and i'll let you do the sign off well that's it from now folks that's all for now. No, bollocks. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. No, shall, fuck. shall we just wrap up the feel for this? Yeah, I think I think what we've done here is is, is a good introduction to the Fairphone. I think we've we've looked at the, um, the sort of modular aspects of it. We looked at the accessories of it. I think overall, you know, it's, it's an impressive idea. Certainly a lot of, you know, onus on recycling and reuse and longevity which is which is really intriguing so i think this is definitely um something to keep an eye on yeah definitely and i'll, I'll just give a little shout out to my son who helped with filming um it may not have been very good but hopefully you did enjoy it so mm -hmm. thank you for watching enjoy <laughs>